Anyway, you get the point. Uh, hi there, this is Joshua the Heretic. Coming at you today, how are you doing? Um, today I'm, I'm going to come at you for the purpose of... Have you ever heard of tithing? Tithing is, is an important thing in most churches. But uh, seeing as though I've never really been a part of a church, or any kind of congregation of any kind, or type, or whatever... Um, I've always had to tithe differently than most people. Um, and, and this is my problem, okay? I've always talked about how, how do you know which church is of God? Because every church is picking and choosing, right? So if you're going to tithe, you, you take 10% of all that increase, and then you do what with it? Well, then you give it to your church. Well, I think you could do more than that. I think that if you're going to tithe, you should give it to who God tells you to. I don't know, man. I just, being... My issue is, is that how can you know that your church is of God? Wouldn't it be better just to say, listen, I'm going to ask God where God wants me to put my money. And then when I get the money, I give it to who God needs to have the money. Instead of just falling back on my default assumption, assuming that the church that I belong to my entire life is of God. I don't know. I just, I, I this is my recommendation to you, all of you. I mean, I recommend that everybody tithe. You must. It's a commandment of God but man don't give it to give it to who God tells you to give it to don't give it to me don't give it to a church don't give it to anybody if God says if there's a homeless person you know what I used to do I used to carry my tithe in my back pocket and I just walk around with it and when God showed me somebody he said give me that guy some money I'd give that guy some money just give him all the money I had boom there you go there was this guy he was a this this he was just a zealot for God, but he was completely homeless. And he was always doing God's will and always sharing the word and always doing all these things. But he was completely homeless. And, and every time I saw that guy, I gave him, bam, my 10%. Boom, that was his. He was working for God. And I hooked him up. And that's the thing. That's what we got to do. You know, you got to take a stand for what the word says. You know, be there for those people that need help and assistance. And then, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's how you tithe correctly. Don't give it to your church anymore. Those churches are corrupt. Churches are corrupt. And especially if they're like totally like rigid about how you're supposed to spend your tithe. I'm like, dude, if you take the, the prayer, if you take the intention of what you're supposed to, like you should be asking God what to do for everything that you have in your life. And if, and if man takes that out of your spiritual understanding, if he says, I don't trust you to listen to God, he's not listening to God. I don't know. I just, I, I don't trust churches, especially when they're always after your freaking tithe. I used to burn my tithe. Like seriously, I'd get 10%. I didn't know what to do with it. i just burn it. <laughs> That's 10% gone. They used to burn sacrifice. That was 10th of every animal, so shit. No profane communications that come forth through my mouth. Anyway, so that's uh, what I'm talking about today. Uh, I will talk at you later. This is The Heretic signing out. Peace.